Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your mid-May readings. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You can also watch this if you're dealing with the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, keep note in mind, these are general. Um, and please bear with me, I'm recovering from a very long flu. Um, so my voice isn't that great. <clears throat> and I do tend to lose my breath, but please bear with me. Um, and also, I've opened up private readings again. Uh, while I'm still recovering, I'm just offering uh, shorter readings for me to be able to keep them up without tiring myself out too much. And then as I'm getting better, I'm going to introduce the, um, the full services again. Um, so let's have a look. What's coming up for Leo? Summer Rising Venus signs for the rest of May. 2019. Okay, there we go. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, um, this could be concerns over your financial situation. There could be some tension going on within the family. There could be arguments within the family to do with money, property, inheritance, that sort of energy. Um, this could also be delays in receiving money that is owed to you or delays in receiving um, your share of something, okay, to do with money, property, real estate, that sort of thing. Um, and then there could also be some hiccups in you being able to complete a project. And I'm getting some sort of, um, if you're not feeling well or if you have a cold or something, it just sets you back a few days. So let's see. In the current situation, so again, we have the Ten of Swords, so again, there's an ending that can't happen just quite yet. It is getting better, though. The Ten of Swords in reverse uh, talks about healing. It talks about recovery. So for some of you, maybe you've been away from work, um, especially if you work from home, if you own your own business, that would cause um, an imbalance when it comes to your finances. Um, for others of you, this talks about... I feel recovery within a relationship. I, for some of you, you're looking at can this be salvaged, and for others, you're uh, you're done with it. You're properly done with it. Um, you may be experiencing the breakup or separation now, or this is the time when you're actually starting to feel a lot better about the whole situation. Okay, with the Ten of Swords here, there may have been betrayal going on, and that's not necessarily cheating. It can be, but. Um, anything where your trust is betrayed, you know, where someone doesn't keep their promises to you or someone takes you for granted or, uh, you know, they get your hopes up and then they crash um, and, and that sort of thing, okay? The challenge, we have the hermit. So the challenge with the hermit, for some of you, this is, again, you've been away from what you wanted to do. Um, kind of, it, it wasn't really a choice. You had to be or you have to be. Um, during this time okay and um, for others of you it is with a heavy heart that you're leaving a situation behind again for some I feel like you're taking time away from a situation to um, figure out if it can be salvaged or not if what you want to do with it basically um, while for others you're completely looking at turning your back on a situation and of course it's not easy because you're in that search stage where you're trying to figure out okay what do I go from here how am I going to do things? Trying to come up with a, a plan, basically, okay? In the foundation, we do have the Nine of Cups upright. So with the Nine of Cups upright, um, if you're dealing with a water sign, I don't have other water cards here, but they could have water in their chart or this is just the traits they embody. This is someone who is very much about themselves, very proud, very uh, much uh, egotistical, likes to get their way. Um, my way or the highway and very very smug um, not really open to conversation you see their arms are crossed uh, someone who just wants everything they want and they're not willing to settle compromise or um, meet someone in the middle okay so it's that kind of energy for those of you that are dealing with um, issues with this person and that's why you feel betrayed and that's why you feel like they're not treating you the way you should be treated okay for others of you, you're waiting for this. You're waiting for the yes. 
maybe from your doctor. Your doctor's telling you to stay off your feet. Your doctor's telling you to uh, take it easy. Your doctor is putting some restrictions um, on you so that you can recover uh, more quickly. And then this is about, well, I have to get that yes, I have to get that approval before I can actually carry on. Um, but yeah, overall, it's someone who just it just takes things too far, takes things too far. Uh, for others of you, you may have been overdoing it, and that's why you're not feeling well. Now, with the Nine of Cups, it's doing what you want, so it can be anything, you know, like even working too much, if that's what you love to do. Um, but there was overdoing it, and that's why there was um, there was this health situation or hiccup with your health. For some, this could be about your um, weight is what I'm getting. So maybe you had to have surgery or something like that. For others, you overdid it with um, your physical activity. You know, being active is, is healthy, but when we overdo it, we can really do some damage to the body. So for some, that's something that could have been going on. In the past, we have the Six of Wands reverse. So again, going back to dealing with an egotistical person, um, I feel like that's what's been going on, okay, for some of you. For others of you, if this was not like a marriage or an established relationship with someone that you dated, um, they just never really wanted to take it further. They were all about the... Um, present moment and that's why you felt betrayed and that's why maybe you were hoping for a future with this person but they didn't give you one okay so that's why you're thinking um, about walking away now in the crowning thoughts position we have the four of pentacles with the four of pentacles here for some of you this four of pentacles represents earth energy so Taurus Virgo Capricorn and the hermit is also Virgo so for some of you the challenge is you're trying to walk away, but someone else won't let you. Like they're still holding on or they're still trying to, you know, talk about things like, okay, let's see what can we do. Um, but I feel like if that's the case, it's because they're worried about what people might say if you broke up, okay? Or they're more worried about their reputation, their status, again, what people might say, how it looks to other people. And that's why they're trying to hold on because this is someone trying to hold on to their reputation, to their status. To their power because that's what gives them a sense of control and a sense of fulfillment um, for others of you again you're looking at your financial situation trying to make sure that you have enough money trying to make sure that you're going to be covered while you while you recover from whatever the situation is for some of you you're taking time off from work because you're experiencing these issues at home within your relationship for others there's a minor hiccup in your health um, or recovery from a surgery even maybe something to do with the, the back or the legs with mobility issues um, and you're worried you know what is this going to do for my job what is this going to do what am I going to find when I go back am I going to still um, be in the same situation I was when I left and, and that sort of thing for some of you this is going on because you're trying to start a family and you're taking time to go through some treatments and you're hoping that you know your wish comes true for some of you that's what's going on in the outcome, we have the Page of Swords in reverse. So for those of you who are waiting for the green light, okay, from a doctor or an expert to start something, um, this is the green light, okay? Now, the Page of Swords upright is usually a, um, an energy where uh, someone's holding back. You need more information. You need to ask some questions. When it's in reverse, I feel like this is the way it's coming up anyway. For those of you waiting for a green light, it's saying... You no longer have to hold back. You can you can go through with it. You all you have all the information. You have everything you need. For others of you, I feel that this means you're making a decision and you're leaving a, an unfair relationship, or you're leaving a relationship where the person you're with is with you for the wrong reasons. Again, their status, their reputation. And um, I also feel like for some, you're completely cutting off communication. This also comes up as an extension of 
a contract or an extension of it's an extension of something to do with paperwork to do with documentation let's see what else we're getting here Okay, so with the Ten of Swords and the Hermit, we have the Page of Cups. So again, someone trying to talk to you, someone trying to um, get you to stay, someone trying to get you to forgive them. This is someone asking you to forgive them or someone offering an apology to you. However, I feel with the Ten of Swords there, um, this is just like a repeating situation. And if someone apologizes, but they keep doing the same thing they apologize for, they're not really sorry, okay? Um... For those of you, again, this is about pregnancy, trying to get pregnant, um, or maybe about a child. They need time or they, you know, God forbid, have to go to the doctors or um, do some corrective, undergo some corrective um, surgery. And that's why you're taking time away. Or this is someone close to you, you know, that you have to be there for. Um, but with the, you know, they're in good hands, basically, is what I want to say. So try not to stress about it too much. Um, and for others, you're just helping them recover. So the whole procedure is passed, and now it's the recovery time. Um, for others of you, I do feel that while you're recovering from a breakup, there is an opportunity for love coming in if, if you were interested. You know, it's there. But I feel like with the hermit, you, you're not interested at this point. But it, there, there could be something there. Um, in the foundation with the Nine of Cups, we have the Hangman in Reverse. So, the way this is coming up is, again, if this is about this egotistical, proud, overindulging person, um, I feel like, there, again, there was a, they weren't willing to compromise. Because the, the, the Hangman is a card that can talk about self-sacrifice, you know. Um, and when it's in reverse, it's, it's, it, there's none of that. There's nothing like that going on. So I feel like someone didn't want to meet you in the middle. Uh, you were always the one sacrificing. You were always the one giving in. For others of you, this is a situation that has been going on for a while because with the hangman in reverse, you saw it, you were aware of it. Maybe you were working on it or you were giving it time. Okay, you were giving it time, hoping that it gets better. In the past position with the Six of Wands in reverse, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this is definitely someone dragging their feet because they didn't intend to give you what you wanted, okay? Because there could be, you know, an energy where someone is dragging their feet because they want to do things the right way, which is the Knight of Pentacles upright. But when it's in reverse, someone's just dragging their feet because they just don't want to give you what they're promising you or they don't want to give you what you want um, with this energy. For others of you, again, this time off, or time away, or whatever the situation is that you're dealing with, um, it just means that it put a dent in your plans, with your finances, with your career growth, with your development, uh, whatever the plan was, it put a dent in your plan, basically, okay? So it, you're not gonna get to the happy, successful outcome as quickly as you would like, is what this is. With the Four of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse, so again, this is what you've become aware of, you know, that this person keeps getting away with, you know, not giving you what you deserve, not treating you properly. Um, and it's in reverse because you, you see it clearly, you know, they're not getting away with it anymore. And that's why you're taking action now and that's why they're trying to hold on to you. For others of you, this just talks about strategizing. Sometimes the Seven of Swords upright can talk about failed plans because they weren't thought out properly to begin with. But then with the Four of Pentacles upright, I feel like it's similar energy in terms of just planning your money, planning your budget, making sure everything's okay and you're covered while you're taking this time away. Now with the Page of Swords, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. And the knight, the knight, the king of pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> so again, we have this earth sign energy here with the knight of pentacles as well, with the four of pentacles as well. So I feel that for some of you, you might be accepting someone's offer of, a, of apology and trying again, because this is like, okay, I'm not going to go anywhere and I'm going to give him a second chance or I'm going to give him a whatever 
the number is chance. Um, hopefully they turn back around because again the king of uh, pentacles in reverse is the same energy he can be very indulging uh, of his own wants and desires uh, he can have a bit of a drinking problem he likes to indulge he likes the luxury um, he likes to spend money uh, he likes to be in control maybe he controls people with because he has money you know or stuff like that um, so I feel that for some of you you're again trying to give this person a, another chance Maybe you have children with them, or again, maybe you just saw a future with them and you're trying to make sure that you're doing everything that you can. For others of you, again, I feel like if this is the, if you are on a contract and there's hiccups going on or there's trouble going on in the workplace, uh, you're not getting along with the team maybe or they're not getting along with you, and you just kind of have to work on your own or you're working on your own but you carry the team okay um because you're worried about your money and you want to stay in that job okay but even though there's treachery going on and you know it it's like well at this time there's nothing i can do um i feel like if this is if you're on a contract that's what this is about that's what is being extended what i do want to say is if your contract is being extended or if you're being made permanent it's very important that you talk to the boss and let them know what's going on because otherwise you're setting the tone for how things are going to be for you in that job moving forward okay you're going to set the tone for you carrying the work for everyone but then everyone takes credit okay because oh it's the team so just be aware of that okay um let's see what else if this is about a job offer I feel like there is a job offer coming your way. You might have to travel for it and you're not particularly happy about that. Or there's something off about it, like it's working nights or it's something like that, okay, is what I'm getting. Or the amount of effort they're asking you to do doesn't add up to the money that they pay, that they might pay you. Um, and it could also be that for some of you, I feel like the job thing is coming together towards the end of Taurus time, which is going towards the end of the month, around May 20th, um, going into Gemini time, okay? So you're just going to have to be a little bit patient and keep searching is the message here. And for some, this is about you extending your lease or you extending your uh, tenancy and you're spending money to build up the place. You know what I mean? Okay, so that is your reading. Let me know if it makes sense to you and how it applies, if it does. Uh, remember to watch your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, any other sign you feel like you should watch. Um, thank you very much for your patience. Have a great month ahead, the rest of the month, and I'll talk to you in the next videos. Bye for now.